really, really what we think are pretty cool artifacts. We found a penny that dates 1867. It has a little tiny hole drilled right into the top. Perhaps they were using that as jewelry. Uh -huh. um, we also found this drawer pull here, quite fancy, um, and, and then a fancy doorknob over here. But our pride and joy um, is this fork that just came out a few days ago. Uh, they spent quite a bit of time cleaning it up so that we could read. It had the initials FBA on it, which we are pretty confident stood for Florella Brown Adair. Uh, we had a big argument in the lab at the beginning of it. Did it was it a J or was it an F? But they finally convinced me that it was an F. This double-headed axe was the star for several days because they spent 17 hours cleaning that axe and they revealed that it has a shield and a maker's mark on it. So we were able to go back and find out who had made that axe. Um, it took a lot of cleaning. Um, there, we also are finding things like that rifle uh, trigger guard there that had some scratched initials on it. This, it says EA and another little symbol that we have not been able to figure out. But then there's a pretty little egg cup that we found at the site. Um, a little pillbox lid that's got smashed for whatever purposes and um, a, a key that went to maybe a trunk or something like that. And then, of course, we have a plethora of everyday items like nails and wires and bits of bottles and tablewares, things like that, that um, may not initially appeal to the eye as much as these do, but are every bit as important for the information that they can they can give us as to what they were eating, who they were, who they were getting their goods from, were they, were they locally manufactured, were they trading for European goods. We can answer all kinds of questions by, from the little bits and pieces.